Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's See What Happens. This is the world's address. We're playing Starbound, and we need to make a well. How do we do that? Let's see what we need. So we need to do a sifter and the well, and this thing too, uh, which I'll get to that eventually. But, hmm, a well. Build one at the foraging table. Which, oh, right, which is up here. I believe. Yeah. Foraging table. Cool. So, I need timber, rope, and cobblestone. Well. Oh, I don't need to. I have tons of wood. Craft. Mm. That's going to be the problem, though. Probably have rope somewhere else in one of these boxes. This is just kind of the the storage box. It's got a whole bunch of nonsense in it. Oh, there it is. I knew I had some somewhere. Nothing in here yet, but fuel is going to go into it. So these are all the blocks. Cool. Yeah, it doesn't look like precursor panels do anything. So that's kind of a bummer, but understandable at the same time, I guess? I don't know. What I can do is make a super awesome base with a lot of these panels. We've got the precursor panel to go as the background, some cool pillars, um, girders, and then when you go into objects, I've got railings and some sort of uh, bulky machine and a chest. Oh, a chest that holds 64 items. Holy crap. Uh, pre precursor light sources that could be really cool if I put them right like right here nifty nifty all right should be able to make that well now okay cool Mm, excuse me. Oh, I am so sorry. I had the sneezes. All right, let's put a well down right there. There we go. Look at that. So after a bit, the well kind of fills up, and you then you've got, you know, water. So let's fill this. That's cool. All right. Next is a sifter. Now let's see what the quest says. Uh, sifter requires power, but allows you to toss in sand, gravel, and other loose materials and sift for hidden goodies. Very useful. The wood sifter is quite slow, but one cannot complain about free resources. Try building a wooden sifter now. Okay. I guess that's probably in here. Down down the bottom? Sift. Hmm. In the foraging table, then? Sift. Huh. In this, maybe? Sift. Huh. I mean, there's a wooden centrifuge.
It doesn't tell me where to make it. Oh, is it something that I can craft in hand? Like, just in my... No. Okay. Oh! Ah, oh, what do you want to bet that it's in it's in this? Because it requires power. Duh. Also, uh, just real, real quick. I want this up here. Since this is a power source, and this thing makes stuff that cre that needs power, I feel like it would make more sense to have it up top. Nothing. 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 Tra la la. Maybe some liquid iron? Do you do anything? Anyway. Lots of liquids. Interesting. I don't know what it does. So, sifter. Requires two watts of power. Okay, cool. Well, let's see. I think a sifter should go here for right now because I do have this guy. And I should put in plutonium? Will that work? Probably not, to be honest with you. Hmm. Have any coal? Yeah, there we go. So maybe if I put coal in, there we go. Hey, 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 look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Um so now So, connect, powers connected device. Right? Okay. I mean, this might work. Who knows? I've never done this before. I need to find, like, some silt or sand that I have. Loose silt. Oh, wow, look at it go! That's kind of neat. I wonder, I wonder if I can use bone, whoa, iodine, actual sand, yo, I can do bone meal too? Interesting, blood, yeah, that legitimately makes sense, cool, okay, so I kind of understand how circuitry stuff works, oh, shit, Gonna have to turn that oil into something, though. Probably, I need to figure out how to make gas. Maybe in science. So, protopotency. There's a rare metal. Uh, 
native only to proto worlds that I am in dire need of. I need two protocyte bars. You can smelt them in a fission furnace, and then you get that cool mask. Alchemy, chemistry, whatever. I've done that. Solar panel might be cool. What's extraction? Extraction 101. I mean, I have an extraction lab right here. Oh, shoot. I'm going to eventually replace these with better than wood, but right now the wooden platform is easy. I should do solar panels somewhere. I mean, I could build a tower and do a solar farm. Hmm. We'll see. We'll, we'll figure something out for that. I'm getting, like, all sorts of ideas. What's the battle ones? Cool. What's it take? Just what's it take to upgrade this thing? Tungsten, silicone, electromagnets. All right, that's interesting. What we really need, though, to be honest with you guys, what we really need is a uh, a planet that we can find dura steel on. That would be the that would be the most helpful. All right, what else we got in tutorial? We're, we're actually really, really close. Go place it somewhere and touch a, toss a bunch of logs in. Sure. So that's going to get methanol. Which I can use then, I think, to make, like, gas for something. Right. Anyway, let's, let's take that. All right. A natural alcohol, methanol, can be used in a variety of ways in your lab. You'll most likely want a decent amount of it. You best get it from extracting wood. I can cut down all these trees and, and go from there. Like, that's not a problem. Okay. I want to finish up a lot of these tutorials. Hydrogen. Water is never in short supply, so... We'll do this. I should have water. Just straight up water. Yeah. Hmm. There we go. Not quite abundant. Uh, salt is quite abundant, rather, especially in water, and applied as a resource in numerous scientific branches. Yeah, NACL. We'll definitely need that. Oh, five hydrogen. My bad. I've only given, I've only made like four. Cool, cool, cool. Cool, cool, cool. 
now. Tutorial. Extraction is done. Stab for noms. Okay, so we're gonna need to cook some meat. To do that, to do that, we're probably gonna have to go. to a different place. So let's see what we can find. Oh, uh, before we do that though, let's fuel up. Erythian algae. Interesting. There we go. We'll figure that out, you know, another time. So, off. Off we go. Let's go. That's a binary star. Hmm. Temperate, gentle, gentle, gentle. Radioactive. Frozen. Binary, binary, binary. Chromatic. <laughs> um, I like this one. This one looks like it's going to have the uh, a, a larger amount of planet types. And that ought to get me really like anything that I would want, to be honest with you. That many different planet types, I ought to be able to come across at least one planet that has everything in the world that I would ever want. Alright, so here we go. View my ship. Ship in transit. Alright, so we're right there. Let's go to this place. There are tons of planets on this particular... in this particular solar system. So... I mean, it's because it's a, it's because it's a binary solar system. What do we got? Gas giant. Oh, you can actually land on gas giants now. Extreme pressure protection. I don't have that yet, but you know, whatever. Plutonium, silver, uranium, cinnabar, crystal. Cool. Thorium, durasteel. Well, let's try it out. Alhenna Gamma. It's got poisonous air, but I'm wearing a, a, a thing. I should be okay. Emphasis on should. Let's find out. Boom. Because I don't have any healing stuff, so I need to... I need to get back in on that. For sure. Yeah. Warning, if you're breathing in deadly air, it'll very soon kill you. Also, I'm walking on clouds. That is straight poison. Holy cow. Okay. Extreme poison, severe radiation. Raw sewage. This is a bizarre planet. Okay. Right, well, let's get what's in here and then go. I'm going to need a boat. 
basically what it boils down to. We're going to need a boat and we're going to need to change my environmental protection pack to something to something that's going to work better. Mutant head. <laughs> oh, what's in it? Oh, cool. Yeah, crafting material is always good. That's hilarious. Tech card. Alright, real quick, we need to go back and make a bunch of healing items, because I don't have any, and we need them. So basically, what I need is med kits. I don't have any fungal ichor. Dang. Hey, you know what? Oh, I like the music. Medical syringe, glass, and iron. It's the, uh, the Japanese, uh, lap harp. Kind of. And some violin. Man, that's, that's super fun. I like that. This is a really great, ah oh man, this is a really fun song, really great soundtrack. That and, um, let's sort you please. Living Root, yeah, that's what I thought. All right, drop down. Red Stim Packs, brief but powerful regen. So let's make, oh man, I can only make one, shoot. Also, let's, get rid of that. Thanks. Um, sewing machine. Craft as many as I can. Real quick, make a flag. Also make a ton of bandages, and by ton, I kind of mean eight. Do I, I have fungal ichor. I think it's in one of these. Yeah. Oh, but I don't have any honey silk bandages. Huh. What do I need to make living root? Research, plant matter, and carbon. Make some blood. It's gross. I need that Dura Steel. But what I really need is something in here. Ah, air supply, ghost immunity, purple glow, poison. No. I mean, yeah. Yeah, okay, let's make this guy real quick. Tungsten bar. And venom sample, I think is what it said. Oh, 
gonna need more venom samples. How can I make, how can I get more venom samples? How can I make more? Can I make more? Could maybe, um, Not here. It's a lab vending machine. Uh, yeah, okay. I don't know what that gives me. But we'll find out here in just a second. We'll put it... Oh, cool. Oh, neat. It's just a vending machine. All right. I thought it was like, because it said lab vending machine. I thought it meant like stuff in a lab. All right. None of these are doing anything. Oh, no. No, 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 no. I need... <clears throat> Blocks. There it is. Am I unclear as to what this centrifuge thing is supposed to do? An effective device for extraction involving liquids. Man, screw this. We'll do it this way. carbon are clouds anything can I extract anything from clouds like water I guess this, like so, and now maybe, I'm trying to get like a venom, to figure out how to make a venom sample, liquid mixer, no, liquid collector, no, iron centrifuge, No. Interesting. Harvester beam gun. Interesting. I wonder. Hunting stuff. I think there's a genetics lab or something along those lines. Oh, graphene, that's why I haven't been able to do any of that. Xena Research Lab? No. Alchemy?
Have I put down my alchemy table? Is that what this is? Yes. I'm just mad that I can't... I realize I'm taking up a lot of time trying to figure this out. Uh, and I apologize for that, but it's a thing that I'm trying to to make, and it's being kind of a poop. It doesn't look like I can make anything that I'm looking for. All right, well, you know what? It was worth a shot. I guess I should go... Well, here I go killing again. Oh, I'm out of fuel. Crap. Okay. I mean, there, that right there, that's a big, big problem. Oh, I guess I'll just use wood. Hmm. I don't understand how the centrifuge works, but that's okay. I'll figure it out eventually. That's it's not a problem. All right. I've crafted all the things that I can. Uh, I want to do just a little bit of exploring around that binary star solar system before I ended up today. What I need to do is find meat-based things, and also I would really like it if I could find a an easy way to get the venom samples because I need those I need those and then I can start doing some really fun stuff so what do we got here moderately radioactive durasteel yes it's risky but it's only moderately radioactive and if I'm not mistaken I am immune to radioactivity so kind of screw it let's do this that's super fun beam down beam down since it's only moderately radioactive i don't see a problem with being on this planet it's got dura steel which is what i need so should be good And, man, it said mm, tropical heat. Oh, it's hot, too. Ooh. Tough chest. Very quickly, let's move some healing items. Did I not make a lot of salves? I might get tricky. Bananas and Mincoca pods. Okay, cool. All right, so in my um, XP, oh, Durasteel, fancy, and medical kits, heck yeah, we use that. Um, in my experience, 
places that look like this. Ooh. Dirt, mud, sand, sandstone, mud, dry dirt. Interesting. A lot of planets that look like this have bad dudes on it. Ah, missed. So I'm going to want to keep an eye out. But at the same time... Hmm, Neptunium. Oh, that guy's in quicksand. I ain't trying to play with no quicksand. Yeah, get in the quicksand, jerk. Ooh. Oh, cool. Look at you. You're fancy. She stay fancy over there, though. Ow. Whoa. Jerk. <laughs> there we go. Durasteel. Also, like, just a line of... Uh, diamonds? Thorium. Even better. Got him. All right. Durasteel. We need that. Thorium. We need that. Oh, uh-oh. Loose silt. So, there used to be a time where I didn't know what to do with loose silt. But now that I have that, uh, that sifter, I mean, let's go to town. Get as much loose silt as I can. This is a good world. This has Durasteel. Which I need all the time. Sand. Which also always useful. Loose silt, which has become more useful as time has gone on. Man, this is a... Nothing ether. Cool. Nothing particularly difficult. Yeah, I like it. The, uh, I mean, the tropical heat and the severe radiation are one thing, but I don't think they're hurting me. And I'm below ground right now, so the tropical heat should definitely be minimized. Ah. A soothing spring. This should help lower your temperature and give you a brief moment of respite. Ah, the, uh, yeah, there are boxes up here. Hmm, a diamond pickaxe. Very nice. So I don't use pickaxes very often because they're they're impermanent. They don't last particularly long. They are faster and stronger than the matter manipulator, depending upon, of course, how how high you've uh, upgraded your matter manipulator. I don't want to make a blanket statement on it because that would be that would just be straight up wrong. But depending upon how much you have upgraded your matter manipulator, the pickaxe pickaxes can be stronger and faster, but they, they wear out, and then it's just something that you have to keep on your bar up here. I don't know, it's a pain in the butt.
cool. Get some more orbs. Like this is a this is a great planet for exploring. And especially for resources. They're all over the place. I mean you're gonna have to deal with some mushroom blocks here and there, but whatever. You know, whatever's whatever. You deal with what you gotta deal with. But look, here's a whole ocean of iron of uh, silver, rather. Get all this coal that we need. I think I finally found a place to spend a, a decent amount of time. I've been looking for that, you know, you look looking for the right planet, the planet that's got all the stuff you might need. Look at that, that's great. Let's see. No, not loose silt. Also, not sand. Dirt will be fine. Need all of that dura steel. Oh, oh, there's a bunch up there. All right, let's go up there. We'll get a little bit more dura steel and then we'll go back and start. We can start upgrading more of the workstations to the next level. And I feel that's going to become very, very important very quickly. I'm also just curious about what else we can find in this planet. I've already done a couple of different biomes. Ah! Those things are always a crapshoot. They could go either way. Sometimes they're nice. Sometimes they're not nice. Sometimes it's a bomb. Just because. Oh, hey, science lab. With sort of an ocean cruncher. Yeah, all right. And then a box with nothing. mud Oh, it's a high lotl. Hey, buddy. Oh, my tea leaves got damp. What am I going to do? High lotls are fish people. Oh, nano wrap bandage. Those are the way to go. Um, I've had them in another game, and uh, the, the nano wrap bandages are really great. Kunai. Savaged power coupling. Ow. Thing that looks like it's out of oxygen not included. I'll take that. What's a hylodal doing so far below the surface? There's no water down here. Oh. Hey, buddy. What do you have? Nothing really. I'll take that. 
salvaged proton limiter. Man, I was gonna go up, but I keep finding cool stuff down here. Another science lab. With Neptunium. Just right there, and then Thorium just right here. Yeah, okay. That'll do. That's gonna go it for this planet for now. We need to go process all of our stuff, and then we'll probably call it a day. Now, go to new base. wonder, how many modules do I have? That many. Right, okay, I've done all of those. I need 24. That's a lot of Durasteel dust. Cool. All right. Here we go. Copper. Durasteel. Yes. It's about to pop up with a whole bunch of stuff. Yeah. Strikers, mech legs, sprinklers. Tons of stuff, guys. Tons of stuff. Tunium rods. Hey, fun. Unstable particles. Cool, cool. Thorium. Titanium. That's everything. All right. Now I just need a battery, ten silicon boards, and a copper wire. Hmm. Hey, I've got volatile power. Pow blah, blah, blah. Let's try that again. Let's let's try speaking again because it was it was hard the first time. I've got volatile powder. It should be in. Oh, I don't have enough, but I can. Because And now, boom, atomic furnace. I mean, at this point, you can start making ridiculous nonsense. And I don't mean that in a bad way at all, but for real, you can start making some ridiculous nonsense. Now you start getting into the protocyte, refined age assault, uh, refined ferrosium, violium, solarium stuff. Like, you can start making things that are straight up ridiculous. Battery, copper wire, silicon board. So I need to make more silicon boards. Hey, I got some carbon. Yay! Look at this. This is actually coming along quite nicely. I'm, I'm making iodine. With iodine handy, graphene and methyl iodide become relatively simple to produce. I'd collect as much as you can. Yeah, alright. Oh, 
oh, I'm out of space. But just as easily as running out of space, I can hit this button, and now I've got space again. What's it take to upgrade the armor works? Four silicon boards and an electromagnet. What do I need to make more of these? Silicon and copper wire. Okay, that's enough because I need silicon more than I need some of this random crap. Sand, loose silt. I don't know. And mushrooms. Who knows? That might give me something neat. Alright guys, that is going to do it for this episode. Wow, look at the rain. Let's, let's see how this goes. Yeah, cool. It's filling up. Every time it rains, the well fills up a little bit more. Nice. Alright, that is going to do it for this episode, guys. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you like what I'm doing. I really appreciate you guys taking time out of your busy day to drop by and see what I'm up to. It really does mean everything to me. Um, I want to thank you all from the bottom of my heart. It really makes me so very, very happy. And as always, I will see you guys next time. Bye.